To make the ratchet, I've got a carbide uh, dovetail cutter in here. And this is for wood, but it's the only one I got. So uh, this is what I'm going to use. And then I've got a piece of brass in a three jaw chuck in my rotary table. And I'm going to start uh, cutting this. Let me get you kind of zoomed in here where you can see. All right, here we go. So now we're over in the lathe, and I got it in a collet, and I'm going to spin this backwards and just kind of get these burrs off of here. All right, now I want to cut. Uh, I want to cut this end off so I can flip it around and have a match. I'm going to bring this in so I don't lose it. All right, so here's the two ends that we just made, and I've got them slid over another piece of uh, tubing to hold them together, and uh, you can see how well they mate all the way around, and then the way they ratchet. Just like that. So it goes together like that, and then the thread will spool right here as you, you know, you can just wind it, you know, like that once I get these soldered on. All right, now to get this soldered, I'm just going to take and put a little flux on here. All right, then I'm going to take and cut a small piece off of... I guess I'll cut another one. I shot that one across the room. Now to finish this up, that this little piece has to go on. Just about like that. That ratchet will stick out the bottom. So I'm just going to flex this try not to flex the teeth of my ratchet because I don't want it to adhere there now the bottom half of the ratchet and now I need just a tiny little piece of solder because if I put too much it's going to flow up onto the and mess up my teeth. Now before I do anything else I want to get go take both of these pieces and I want to clean them and be sure I get all that flux off because it's got acid in it and anything that I used to clean this with a file or anything like that is going to rust due to that acid if I don't. Alright so that's got them soldered on there and I've slid them together All right, I gotta get this cleaned up. I'm getting ready to polish the bobbin part of our ratchet uh, and get the solder and stuff off of it. And to make a mandrel, I just got a 3 16 rod and just smashed it, whacked it with a hammer and flared the end out just a little bit. So now when I pull it, I can jam it on there enough that I can get enough friction, I think, to get that polished up. I got the bottom part of the ratchet chucked up and I'm just going to trim this end off nice and well. Uh, if you're just watching this video to see uh, how to make the ratchet, I appreciate you watching. If uh, you're watching, this is part of a uh, pendulum 
uh, a fly fly pendulum escapement for a clock, which I'm actually not making the clock. I'm just making the uh, pendulum. So if you're interested in that, I uh, hope you'll watch that video. Thank you for watching.